Welcome back. So today I thought I would film a my first PR package. So for those of you who don't know, PR is pretty much just um, public relations. It's a public relations package. Um, so companies will send you makeup, lashes, products to test them out and then review them. So, so this is from a brand called Tusi Cosmetics. They're a kind of like a smaller indie brand based out of Vancouver. So it says that Tusi is now born to provide the highest level of quality, customer service. All of their products are vegan and cruelty free. Super cool. So she actually got a hold of me via Instagram and asked if um, I wanted to, to send me a pair of free lashes to test and review. So I thought, why not? Who doesn't love free shit? That was the most satisfying like. No, I sold my first PR package. Very excited. So in here, they sent me a little, little handwritten letter. Cute little, cute little thing. I'm really excited. And then they sent me a little, a little sticker, a little sticker, and a pair of lashes. So I'm super excited about these. So I haven't put on any uh, fake lashes or mascara. These are in the style Jory. The packaging is actually really, really good quality. It's like a hard, hard plastic case that you could probably reuse. It's super cool. Oh, it's a, it's a slide. See, a lot of them will come in just like little boxes, um, like little unicarns, then you slide the lashes out on a little plastic, um, little plastic tray. These are actually done in a hard plastic case. They still have the little uh, the little plastic tray inside. They're so cute. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara now. I'm gonna use the Butter London Double Decker Mascara. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do my top and bottom lashes. So the reason you wanna put mascara on first is you wanna give um, larger lashes a nice base to sit on. Smaller. So I'm not looking at the camera because I'm looking at the little viewfinder over here um, so I can see myself, make sure I'm in focus for you. I now have mascara on, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop the lashes out of the case. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like, ah! Sparkly. They're so pretty and wispy. So with lashes, what you wanna do is you never wanna pull them from the lash band. So you always wanna pull them from here, very gently. Now that we have them out of the uh, the case, we're gonna go ahead and cut our lashes down to size. So they always make lashes extra, extra long for people whose eyes are much longer so they can fit a variety of sizes. But there's a very good chance that you will always have to cut them down. So I'm just gonna cut. They come with like little, I don't know if you can see that, but they're kind of like little uh, nub things on the end, I always cut those off. They just irritate me. So they'll have them probably most likely on the inside and the outside. And I'll go ahead and laugh at my massive scissors. I have smaller lash scissors, specifically made for cutting lashes, except I was visiting my friend in Kelowna this weekend and I left them on her counter. Now, you'll notice that I took the right lash, which is gonna go the exact same way. This is gonna be for my right eye. And the way you do lashes, you always want to cut from the outer corner. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and measure it on my eye first. So. This we do this so we know exactly how much to, uh, to cut off, which is usually a lot for me because I have small eyes, and that's okay. So 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my lash glue, wherever I put it. <laughs> I'm just having a clumsy day today, guys. I apologize. We're just having a rough one. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and take just the regular duo latex-free because I have a latex allergy. Even if you don't have a latex allergy, I'd usually recommend it because you definitely don't want to find out or not. So just do yourself a favor and get the non-latex one to start off with. So we're gonna make sure we get both the inner and the outer corner while we're gluing. So it'll look like that. We're gonna have to let it uh, sit for a minute for the glue to dry enough so it'll get tacky and stick because otherwise if you try and put it on too early it's gonna um, not be sticky it's just gonna be straight up wet and slide off your eye and the sister doesn't want that also we're gonna kind of curl the corners in this is to um, create the shape for the lash to make sure that the inner corner and the outer corner don't um, stick up right. now we're gonna take this this is the best tool you will ever invest in. You can get one for maybe $10 on Amazon. And for people who suck at applying lashes like me, this will be your best friend. This will this will be your, your lifesaver. This will be everything. Because we're gonna use this. I'm gonna take the lashes kind of in the middle, kind of like that. And bam, I'm gonna take it. And we're going, when we apply it, we're gonna um, kind of apply it in a downwards motion um, so we don't stick it to the lash. So we're sticking it as close as possible to our lashes without being on top of them. Now once we've applied it, I'm gonna go ahead and fuse those lashes together. So the natural and the falsies. Oh my god, that was like the easiest lash I've ever applied in my life. applied which is shocking to me like that was so so easy the lash band for whatever reason it just made it super super easy to just get it stuck it fit perfectly to my eye shape usually larger lash bands are harder to apply um, just because they're they're more bulky and you can see them a lot more which means you have to be a lot more precise with your application but that was like so easy they're applied fairly well if I do say so myself, you know, not to toot my own horn. Now we're gonna go ahead and measure the other eye. And the reason you measure both eyes is because your eyes are not the same size. Nobody's eyes will be exactly the same. You always wanna measure both eyes. Don't just cut them at the same spot because the eyes are like boobs. One is generally bigger than the other. Now we're gonna go ahead and remeasure, just make sure we got enough of this one off. All right. So we're gonna do that same process again. So we're gonna take our glue, we're gonna glue the lash band from the inner corner to the outer corner, making sure we get both of them very well. 
nobody looks good with a flying corner, you know? We want, we want our lashes to stay on through the whole day. You know, you want to be able to crack open your window in the car and just like Because that is an accurate description of what I look like in the car with my head out the window. All right. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna roll our lash band. Give it a minute to dry. One really cool thing about these lashes is they're actually like black at the beginning and then they go from like a gradient to black to red to blue, kind of a bluey purple. And it just gives it this cool ethereal feel. I don't know, it just, it catches the light in a super, super nice way and makes them look even more wispy and like glorious. It's okay, I hate myself too. Whew. Flick that hair back. I'll flick it over. And we're gonna do the same sort of motion. We're gonna apply it in a downward motion to get it as close to the lash line as possible. Doing the same thing again, fusing the lashes with the fake ones so they just blend together. Now, if you're like me, I like to bake my under eyes, even though my skin is very dry. I still bake them because I find that dry is being better than super creasy. But the nice part of that is when you apply lashes, you might get some fallout from your mascara. And you can go ahead and take a little tapered fluffy brush. This is the Y11 from Morphe. And you can go ahead and just dust that fallout off. And you're good as new. All right. So this is how the lashes look fully applied. Super cute. I'm super excited about them. So thank you, Tusi, uh, for sending me your lashes. I'm super excited. I will definitely be ordering more in the future. Um, just because they are so, so pretty. They're like, so pretty. And who doesn't love supporting local uh, Canadian made businesses? As I said, they are based out of Vancouver, BC. I'll make sure that I link their um, website in the comments below. Go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know um, how I did, what you'd like to see, what I could have done better on. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next one.